single flame to light the dark. I wear it every day. Welcome everybody to the spiciest anime fan service scenes of 2019, aka the top 20 hottest anime from the year. My name is Misty Slash Kinesia, and you know me, I had to make a video talking about all the smile we got this year, but I also wanted to expand on it, because we're all men of culture here. So here's how we're gonna be covering this video, not really rules, but more so guidelines, we're not bound by genre. Where I'm going through all the anime we got this year and I'm gonna be showing off their best fan service scene, in my personal opinion. Nearly every anime always have that shower scene, hot spring, beach episode that's good enough to make the list. Now for the more, I cannot stress this enough, it's not because it has a really hot scene that the anime is good or vice versa. I'm sure we can all look at these aesthetic scenes purely from a scientific and unbiased angle. <laughs> ah, roll the clip. Number 20, Miru Tights. Breaking off the ice with Miru Tights, an anime about a fetish you didn't even knew you had. A show Miru Tights take your love for stockings and bring it two step too far. Every camera angle shows off some footsie or god forbid an ankle. The anime is devoid of any sustenance, it's purely fan service. so if you think for a list like this it would end up much higher, huh? Well, not really. I, I guess I'm not too much into stocking myself, so this is all surface level. The legs are also in CGI, so I don't know. I guess the toes are well animated. Again, not really my thing. <laughs> Number 19, Watashi ni Tenshi ga Maorita. This is another anime I'd rather no one watch if you can avoid it. The story is about a... Just a mess of a human being. Miyako is a college student, but she's super shy and clumsy. She has a sister in elementary school, and one day her sister brings a friend from her class. Miyako falls in love with her friends, but again, I'm reminding you of the age gap here. College student, elementary school. <laughs> the fan service overall is meaningless, weird hugs and cosplays of a kid's. But it counts. Besides, I needed 20 entries, so, so let, let's just put it here and forget it immediately and move on to the next one. Yeah, can we all make this like an amendment? Number 18, We Never Learn. In We Never Learn is a story of a pretty smart student who must tutor a handful of girls into becoming good in a school subject they lack. You know what that means? Nothing like an episode spent studying in the bath, naked, talking on the phone, with, with the camera on. Because <laughs> why not? To be fair, I think the manga counterpart has more lewd scenes, or maybe I just feel like the girls are drawn in more precarious poses, but Rizu got some of them big titty bitches! Could kill a horse with those knockers! Or at least endure it enough that you have to put it down yourself. Good anime, fan service minimal. Moving on! <laughs> Breaking news, it's time for a sponsor of the day, Passion Puzzle. If you're already addicted to anime, let me send you right into rehab with this sexy son of a gun. Passion Puzzle is a visual novel slash match three type of game where you progress by meeting several girls and bonding with them by buying gifts or taking them on dates. Girl rewards you with naughty picture, just like in real life, clearly. Personally, what hooked me in the game was the artwork, the character design is actually really dope! And match 3 type games is usually a turn your brain to off and just enjoy a good time. Every girl has her own storyline you can influence with your answers. It's a management type game which is something I absolutely love, so if you're not convinced yet, download the game for yourself for free with the first link in the description down below and enjoy hours of loads with Passion Puzzle. Now let's talk about number 70. Number 17, The Rising of the Shield Hero. Thou shall not loot the lolly was one of the Ten Commandment. People often confuse it with thou shall not lie, but it's actually lie with a lolly. The part at the end was kind of smudge. Thankfully, the studio behind Rising Shield kind of did that. I mean, they tried. They made her older before they sent her into the onsen. They added another lolly chicken girl, and who doesn't want some of that two-piece combo meal? Yum yum. But the point is, the anime didn't need the loot. They cave in at a few spots, but otherwise it's pretty spotless. Number 18, 
Number 16, Dumbbell Nankilo wo Moteru. Eh, this one was kind of obvious it was bound to happen. You have an anime about flexing. So of course, if one girl is working on her hamstring, you're gonna see a bit of that glute. This one, I'm kind of more lenient on because, yeah, an episode where your attention spent watching form and muscle reaction, you're gonna be forced to look at some weird angle. They play it off nicely. Overall, it's a workout comedy. There's a girl who's super thirsty, and no, I don't mean water-wise, although suck less dick, drink more water. That's a Twitter account you should follow. <laughs> Number 15, Manaria Friends. Manaria Friends is a spin-off series from the Shingeki no Bahamut franchise. It's a story between two girls who attend a prestigious magic academy. One is a dragon-human hybrid called Greya, and the other one is Anne, a vanilla run-of-the-mill princess slash honor student. The two girls form a kinship bond by going through similar hardship, and overall, it's kind of cute, but that doesn't take away there's a lot of good eye candy, mainly in episode 6. I mean, exhibit A and B, although it should be called exhibit double D's, am I right, fellas? Number 14, Maho Shoujo Tokushusen Asuka. I can't really get behind Magical Girl Special Hops Asuka, so I think rank 14 is probably the best pot I can actually give it. The episode 4 weird torture sequence is a bit extra in terms of flavor for me. I think this is a clumsy mess altogether of an anime. The hot scenes are scarce and barely interesting enough to keep a viewer interested in this show, and the rest is just lacking all around. Uh, quick entry, but that's eh, mostly because it's kind of bland. <laughs> Number 13, Astra, Lost in Space. This is not a case a la Rising Shield where the plot could absolutely do without any fan service, and yet Studio Lurch just went the extra mile to give you some sweet Arius sauce. Also Hua and Kidri, but Arius is where the money's at. Or Luca if you're into that. I mean, th there's quality spot all around in this one. I dig the art style, and if you're gonna put an obligatory Oasis Beach episode, might as well do it with class. Number 12, Gotobu no Hanayome. I think I'm only giving Quintessential Quintuplet a rank over Astra purely because I think the girls have the edge here. The fan service is about even. You got a girl sleeping naked in episode 1 or the other sister in the bathroom. It's a bit forced and meaningless at the end of the day, but the girls look really neat. I'm not giving up on this anime just yet though, there's a second season already planned for January next year, so I got more hopes to see Miku naked. I mean, I know it won't happen, but it'll at least be more doujin fodder. Number 11, how clumsy are you Miss Ueno? Are we demonetized yet? Cause the window sound is just the extra nail in the coffin for this one. Yeah, who am I kidding? This video was demonetized the second the title had the word hot in it. If that didn't do it, and, and the thumbnail for sure was a critical hit. But yeah, where's the hot scene in Ueno-san? I mean, anywhere. Anytime she opens up her mouth, you want to be as far away from an elementary school as possible. Girls got a galaxy in her panties and a uh, not so much Catholic extracurricular pastime, I would say. Number 10, Kenja no Mago. In this incredible fanfiction written by a 10 year old, you have your overpowered protagonist who also moonlight as a white knight. But no righteousness of his can protect the ladies from this summer. Other ladies. Back in a bad house, once more for episode 7. It's like they're contractually forced to do it. Or something. You know the drill at this point. Super steam to hide the goodies and force fondling to make you believe the girls act like that in real life. Well, you're absolutely right, they do. So don't miss out the Animal Planet documentary, Kinja no Mago. Or do you? I mean, your time is probably better spent somewhere else. <laughs> Number 9, Domestic Not Kanajo. One girl is a mysterious teacher Protakun has a boner for. The other girl is an ex-lover that pops his cherry like a Dr. Pepper. 
Now, you get to swing back and forth like a pendulum between the two sisters, with Vance all the more questionable every episode. Like a drunk girl passed out on the couch. Why not kiss her? Girl thinking about, yeah, I'm gonna hang out in there. And so many more trashy scenarios you can't even think would fit in r slash trashy on Reddit. So hot. Let's all make it weirdly incestuous by having the parents remarried together as well. In for a penny, in for a pound, am I right? And that's the station where I get off. Now, in my script, I meant that as this is where I would leave. But I also realized that, in hindsight, it also sounds like I'm jerking off to this anime. Which, it's half and half. What? <laughs> Number 8. Aochan can study. Here's a great one, cause this is an all-rounder, put it in the chamber, spin the barrel and click, whichever scene you land on, boom, fan service. Aochan is an anime about a girl who was named by her father, Apple Orgy. And while that does sound like a Food Wars spinoff, it's actually about a girl who has a jerk-off session in an Apple store. No, it's about a girl who wished she could have a normal life, but her point of view of things have been tainted by her father who's a bestseller erotic author. Great comedy, and the lewds are actually quite comical. It's all in good taste, really. <laughs> Number 7. Nande Kokoni Sensega. How is this teacher not fired? Should be the actual title for this anime. Beyond the inappropriate age gap, the statutory rape, the power play, and all the censors that barely keep this anime arable, I can't really justify this position, as a matter of fact, this anime should be number one on this list. But then I couldn't do my shitty joke I have saved up for it. Bro, I wish this was my high school year. Then again, back then, a gentle breeze was enough for me to uh, send out the boys on a mission. <laughs> so I thought this has probably saved me the embarrassment. <laughs> Number 6, Danmachi. There's just so many potential draws from season 1 that I thought I'd get to pick anything from season 2, but actually, they're, they're really holding back. And then, thank god episode 5 happened, where you have wealth molest bells, because boys do that for sure, uh huh. Hestia climbs the fence and every camera angle is carefully selected to have the goodies hidden. I still count it as a solid entry because you also have an entire episode after that where the characters are in a brothel, so that's pretty unique. Entering the top 5 with Tajina Senpai. I'm not really sure why I can't shake the Dagashi Kashi vibe I'm getting off of this anime. It's not the same studio or the same author, they're absolutely not related, beside the fact that Tejina Senpai looks like a refurbished Hotaru. Now, in terms of hot scenes, uh, pick your poison from the bondage gone wrong to drench and inappropriate fondling. If anything can go wrong in the anime to put her in a promiscuous situation, it's all fair game. I mean, magic, yeah, magic does that. That's why they all have sexy assistants. <laughs> Number 4, Sonan Deska. Sonan Deska's fan service is just like dessert. I mean, you could do without, but after such a good meal, it's so welcoming. Sonan Deska has me smitten from left to right. You have a premise about four girls stranded on an island, and they have to go by, day by day, surviving. Whether it's to dive without wetting your uniform, but it's okay to wet your underwears. Like, girls, either get naked entirely or don't, what's the point? Or, if it's to suck dirt through your stockings, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. But shout out to the cameraman on the island that's actually filming the girl, cause he has to do the same thing with the camera on his shoulder, and that's really epic. <laughs> Number 3, we're getting there, Hansuki. She shoves her panties in his throat and asks him to become her slave. How do I even have to explain this ranking to you? That's just one scene from the show. You got the other girls who's the complete opposite and will do anything Master Senpai tells her to, which may or may not involve a color. Eh. Look, this anime is the result of what would happen if you ran top speed headfirst in mahogany. Yeah, specifically pick mahogany. Why? Uh, Cause that shit is harder than my dick watching this show. 
Also, has a nice ring to it. Stop questioning everything I do. Just enjoy my jokes. They're not all good, but they're all thought out. Number two, Okasan Online. If you've seen this anime, then you know exactly why it's here. Oh, don't get me wrong, I think it's one of the worst garbage we got this year, but in terms of smart, this is top tier. This is just sheer quantity. This puts Edo Manga Sensei and my sister my writer to shame. Mom in anime should be good for two things. Making food and dying. That's it. I mean, you know your mom had to have sex at some point to create you, but picturing your mom getting it on doggy style is just bad blood for everyone. So you see why I'm conflicted? Great spot, but the slime scene is where I nope the fuck out. And finally, number one, Fire Force and the shower scene. If you're thinking, what can beat Okasan online in terms of quantity of thirsty chaos? I'm gonna say nothing. Nothing beats the quantity of Okasan online. But in terms of quality? You got the very first episode of Fire Force with Maki and Iris taking a shower together. Plus, I mean, this is a list of the hottest scene in anime from this year. The pun, the joke is right there. It's a show about literal fire. And you also have Maki, the best girl that just makes me every time. I'm telling you fam, Maki doesn't have any ice left. No ice, get it? Noise. I don't know, this entry was just an excuse for my shitty dad puns and it's actually a decent show for recommending to people. So these are all 20 of the most memorable scenes for me when it comes down to the hot like lava fanceress. Did you know that lava is just spicy honey? Yeah, true story. If you've seen every anime so far that I've mentioned or nothing interests you, I highly suggest you try a passion puzzle if you like individual stories from various girls or good management type game and obviously more ludes, this is straight for you. The game is free to play, it's only one click away. Check the link in the description down below and I'll make it worth your time. Thanks a lot for watching my video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more in the future, and I'll catch you guys next time. I've been through the hard times, I've been on the wrong side, I've been ashamed. So many memories, you know I'd like to change. Yeah.